So our last two for our interventions for uh, acute renal failure. We have hyperkalemia. So we're going to get rid of that hyperkalemia with our KX alates for our acute renal failure patients. The only way to get K out of the body is in the potty. So we have our PP and you have your poo poo, which gets rid of your K, right? So if your urine is not being able to be produced, we're going to have to get it out through the bottom. Make sense? Dopamine. Dopamine helps open those renals, hyperdilate those renals while vasoconstricting the peripheral body. It's going to help increase the pressure. So remember we talked about the three causes of acute renal failure. If you have low blood pressure, um, it's going to help. It's going to help hyperperfuse this kidney. Now the last two are kind of difficult to understand a little bit, but let me help you understand these because they both have to do with volume. One, we are, the main goal is to push volume through that kidney. What's called tickle the kidney. We're just trying to tickle it, okay? We're trying to perfuse that kidney. The more volume, the more oxygen we get through that kidney, the better it's going to be. So, we're trying to push our patients who is in oliguric phase into diuretic phase. And hopefully, we'll pull out of it and come go and next go into the recovery phase. So, we already give dopamine to open it up. So, we're trying to get fluid to push them into diuretic phase, how can we push even further to get your patient into a diuretic phase and hopefully go into recovery phase? How do we do that? Well, you can give total volume. You can give a bolus. Total volume, which is also known as a bolus of IV fluid. Okay. Yep. So we give a bolus. Just we give more fluid. We we just pour water, pour fluid, this IV normal saline salt water. We're just pouring it through the kidneys. Those washing machines, let's say, have too much mud in them. Your washing machines are broken. We're just trying to get it restarted by pushing more volume through it, hopefully hoping that it's going to get restarted. So your renal arteries are right here. We're already dilating them with our dopamine, causing more pressure to come down there. We're putting more volume, more fluid through those kidneys, hopefully getting in the diurese phase. And just to make sure that we are getting enough volume through those kidneys, we go into the V stage, which is our volume depletion stage. We give diuretics. So I know it sounds weird that we're giving fluids and diuretics, but just make sure that you understand the main goal is to get fluid going through those kidneys, help them get restarted. So we want to push volume through the kidneys and diuretics in that, in that form. Diuretics. Okay. We're pushing that volume through those kidneys in that form of diuretics. So we're going to give some Lasix which is called our loop diuretic and uh, also known as furosemide, which is a potassium depleter. So we're depleting the potassium, pushing volume through the kidneys. We have like a wham bam, double whammy. Awesome, huh? So in retrospect, if we back up and really think about what we're doing here, 
you have your patient going into oliguric phase, okay? Basically meaning your kidneys are not working. The washing machines aren't working. here. We want to push your renal failure patient into a diuretic phase, okay? So we do this by increasing the amount of pressure, the amount of perfusion going to the kidney. We give a bolus, try to push fluids through that kidney, right? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> we also give diuretics to make sure enough volume is being pushed through that kidney. Just want to get it restarted, push it into a diuretic phase, and hopefully we'll go into a recovery phase and pull out of this. So, um, that's pretty much what we do. Next, we're going to just talk about um, creatinine clearance tests and what the heck that means uh, with your patient in renal failure, okay?